heading down the road leading to the creek and the trailer on the side of the property. dollars off your next battery. You got some bear cheese No, it's from that punching bag. Oh. Ever last. The one that it didn't ever last. Last. Never last. Yeah, the rats definitely did have some fun time in here. What a weird place for a doorknob. Like for that glass to be. I feel like that wasn't hanging down last night. It might have been in here. Nice foam insulation. Here, just a second. Just right back. Okay. That's some good foam insulation. This thing probably be easier to get than that other thing. <laughs> right. The door frames. It's actually off. got a floor that's not eaten by rat. It doesn't smell bad in here. Oh, that's the worst thing in the world. Watch out. The scary thing is in there. You're probably going to regret coming in here. Right? <laughs> the stash spot. They like stashed everything in the next. Like fine. Water tank. Like, no, the water no, tank and the water pump. We've got the power distribution panel there. Like That's the water line. You got a brand new oven? Is <laughs> it even oven? Oh, all the insulation. Damn. That's where they like to hang out. Yeah. Furnace. Water pump. Or water heater. There's the furnace there. Oh, that's actually an interesting furnace. Huh. Gonna head down to the creek. We're at the trailer now. Adrian went through exploring. Dad found some poison oak and brushed it on his leg. Make sure he's still highly allergic to it. Now that we know poison oak does exist over here, we can keep it through. We probably walked through it like 10 times. We didn't even know it. That's all huckleberry. There's so much of it, you don't have to be too sorry. Chicken. Hey, chicken. <laughs> So the last time we were here, this is the path down to the East Creek. We weren't sure if these vines here were poison oak, but now they have leaves and they very much are poison oak. Uh, luckily they were not oily the last the time we came through, I haven't had any rashes or anything from them, but now we got to watch out for those guys. Creek's running a little bit slower, but I'll get a picture of that soon.
All that? No, I should watch out for all that. Oh, yeah. All of that. So we're going to head down to the East Creek now. But we noticed this tree right here is a bay tree. That's pretty cool. Looks like a couple of them. Found a couple maples. Pretty cool stuff. Oh, there's a frog in there. Little pool running a little slower than last time. Oh, she, knew it. <laughs> she made it. I made it, but don't think so. Little frog right there. Dirt just turned into a slide. At the creek. At the creek. This would be what garnets for me? Yeah. I found something that's actually good. <laughs> it might actually cut nice. It looks fairly solid. That could be your rock finder, since I have no clue what I'm trying to find here. But I'm That's kind of how it goes. It's like the, the, the less you know what you're looking for, the more likely you're going to find the clue. Yep, now we're going up Allie's favorite hill. Found more quartz? I think so. Cool. Quartz. You going up or me first? Uh, go for it. I guess I'll go up. My turn. Oh, I got it. There we go. Up here on the left should be all the wild strawberry when it starts getting grassy. Well, the path was through this way on the right, but some poison oak. Yeah, on the wild strawberry too, and you're walking in and over there. We're going this way. Just don't drag your feet. Step high on it, like you're stepping on top of everything. Mm. 
funny that the poison oak just doesn't grow over out here. Oh, what's that? That's pretty. That it's pretty. Flower? It's an iris. Hmm. Well, there's a few over in here. <laughs> Lots of little purple flowers and yellow flowers. Why you watch Jurassic Park? <laughs> Here's the bear cave. Yeah, some white flowers now. California poppy. Yeah, the poppy is so smooth. A little weird for California poppy though. No, they are. Dude, that tree. Yeah, that one's like noticeable. Yeah, I want to say it's probably right up on that hill there. Right up on the ridge? Yep. Little video of this cave. So right under here is a good opening of the cave. And I think that's what where all this gooseberry and salmonberry kind of stuff grew out of. And this one on this side is less of a cave. But that one under there is for sure. Pretty cool. We're at the rocks. We're gonna go up the hill over here, find the property line. Then we can just go up around the side, the easier side if you want. And then up and over. Well, it says that the property line is like right down there a little bit. Little trippy flowers. Okay, so like here's the property line. A little bit over. And it goes this way. There's a line? Yeah, it's like straight from here. Oh, really? Then it goes in a straight line this way. That's depending on how accurate this GPS is too. Didn't we go further last time? There's a fat chunk of cord. Yeah, we kind of walked over that way. We went to the rock and we went through here or there. Not a lot of that. Nothing. Yeah, I can... It's like some snow pea. 
This is purple flower there. That's a good edible. Oh yeah. Monster kind of quartz. A little hollow deer trail. Cool little place in here. Mm -hmm. Just came out of the deer hollow and heading down into the field. Try to find follow the proper line. See if we can find any creatures. Yeah, it's a cool spot. Perfect. And we'll put the yurt right here. <laughs> Dad found a little trickle of water. Lots of iris here, it's really pretty. So this is a hike of the east side of the property. This time we're gonna follow the line a little bit more exactly and should have a good idea of where our property ends and begins. That's actually probably what's in those pineapple jars. Those pineapple jars with the weird little hole in the middle of them. Those are probably for colonial too. Probably. They're gonna be like, these are pretty cool. Don't know if that's fit in there. A little bit of a ditch to go through here and follow the deer trail.
got some turkey vultures floating overhead. Peculiar. Got some deer poop in here. Pretty thick grass. It's pretty far. Yeah, we're about in the middle of the last 40 acre parcel. I'm pretty much standing on top of the property line. So all that's us. A girl grabbing flowers, a boy grabbing rocks. A guy saying things are neat in me just video recording and not being seen. People going eat. People going eat. Some gopher action in here. Yeah, it like goes up this hill. Just came from the field with the little rock we had a break on. Now we're heading up this hill. Found these massive oak trees. Hundred-year-old poison oh. oak. And then that one over there in that corner, are like the kings out here. <laughs> Dude, we are here. Deer trail. Looks like the property line's just like 20 feet up this. So whichever way we want to find a way around here, probably going down now.
So we went up and we found the property line marker here on this tree here. Got a marker! <laughs> on the south east side of the property. We just found the property line and now we're heading down the ridge. It's a good bit more poison oak on this side. Must be enough sun. Probably had two people up here. Oh man, this was back when they did the sweet scoop. This is like 2000. Is that a beer can? No, a soda. Oh. Probably the guys that were cutting and everything up here, whatever they were doing. It doesn't look like much of the wood got left. Put these down by the time we get back, it's going to be completely left. Or put them on top of a log or something, maybe a... That's a fall in. Someone will enjoy that. I'll have to pick some other ones on the way back. Hopefully I didn't just drop out in poison oak. Well, you need to learn the, the leaf structure of poison oak and you'll know better. If it looks oily and it has three leaves, it's probably poison oak. Yeah, oily and, is usually how I register. And uh, on a true. vine. Can you on the top of this too? A little bear poop right here. But yeah, the rule usually is uh, leaves of three, let it be. Oh gosh, here's a hit. Pretty good sized rock outcropping. And use your hands. Okay, you got it. <laughs> what the heck, dude? <laughs> you made it to the top. Don't fall off now. Oh yeah, that is a pretty flower. Really pretty. Not much sun. Can't see it very well. I'm gonna get a shot of it. Just climbed up this rock out clipping. Found some cool flowers. Now we're looking off of a cliff. True enough. I think that's about 200 feet down. 200 feet down? Let's go get a piece of black hose. That's about right, yeah. We'll run it down there. Alright, who wants to roll down the hill first? <laughs> <laughs> Vertigo. <laughs> it is what it is here. Yeah, this is the, the, the beauty of it is it's an irreplaceable best wood. Yeah. It would be nice to at least get like some kind of way across the board. almost like really it is it's magical because you can really get to it like this. It's special so you come out here and you pack in and camp. <laughs> See this oak growing out over this cliff. It's no big deal. <laughs> I'm just go I'm going this way guys. Yeah.
got probably good footing in this limestone here. Yeah, they don't know about the moss covering. <laughs> it's kind of like that. Oh, it's feeling a little bit good. more granite than this Sorry, man. Ali found a cold tree. And they're getting really weird about you got to have everything engineered. We don't just build things anymore. I mean, I can see around on the property of things and stuff. There's actually, I think, a little bit of a road that comes into our property from there. Leaves crunching. Yeah, there's some sign of uh, beetles. Well, down there's that gorge. Probably at the cut back across to the field and then back to where we came from. Fun. From the mountain. That's real special up there. Another deer trail. Yeah, that's what we'll take down for sure. Another little cliff on that side over here. You ready, Allie? Yeah. All right. Yeah, the cliff goes around that way. <laughs> this whole little field of irises here, here. Very cool. <laughs> Where's it going? <laughs> At least I'd like to think I am. Adrian's still up there, there he is. Down there to the field and then down that way. There's a cliff over on that side. Ladder, like a ladder. <laughs> Is that for you guys? No. no. It's not on a, a lot of flowers down there. A little bowl. 
Mm -hmm. Poison oak has rounded edges, not sharp edges on the leaf. Yeah, they don't look like the oak leaves. Thing. We did the first brood in the, up in the mountains. We went around and had the kids identify poison oak every time we saw it. Okay, that's it. That's a thumbing in a vine down here. It looks like a tree here. It's like I've always been able to tell because it's got like the red on it, but it's not always. It doesn't always have the red. Yeah, that's like autumn, winter. Woodboro. Yeah, no shortage of them closer to home, too. That's a cool backpack, <laughs> Wood burl. Yeah, you'll see that beach ball sized one on the Madrone. Things gnarly. Shale stuff is like super slippery. It's a nice little patch of iris. Really pretty. A total iris field right here. Heading down from the lily field, we found some live oak. And this is the ravine on the east side of the property, southeast. And there's a trickle of water going through. Oh, go to Rick. Go. <laughs> He's gone. Where'd he go? Very cool. Walking up the ravine, I have to get back to the field so that we can go back over this thing. You're looking good. I got that golden green look to him. It's just like a stick. Oh, I see him, yeah. Hi, bud. Huh. Coming up the ravine and found some pretty cool mushrooms. Pretty cool one over here. Can't really see it too well, but I'll take a picture of it. And then on this side, white ones on there. I'll take a picture of that too. Continuing up the ravine, past where we found these mushrooms. Went through another little lily field, that was pretty. Now we're gonna cross the ravine. It's short enough and not as steep as before. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. Deer trail. They probably come down here for the water. There's a nice little flow to it. Just hop across and then you can grab my leg. You can grab my hand when you get across. Yeah. That looks like poison oak. Nope. Damn, I'm bad. Yeah, there's white oak growing around here. 
and those are kind of similar, but yeah, yeah, and it's not viney, mm. and it doesn't have three leaves. Yeah. Whatever path you want to choose, we're going straight up the hill there. This way? Uh huh. Well, straight up that way in front of you, directly in front of you. Go directly in front of you that way. Okay. Yeah. I couldn't tell because I kept turning. Well, directly in front of you changes when you turn, huh? <laughs> Those are the kind of things that scare me. What? The leafless branches. branches yeah, they look like uh, uh, vines. Yep. Straight up. Pick whatever path you think's best. I'll go this way. Around here okay. and then to the left. Then we don't have to bushwhack. And the easiest way to know where to go is to keep a um, stay with the people that are ahead of you, and then you can see where their feet go. And that makes your foot placement a lot easier, and where you can see how much of a difficult time they had placing their feet. And then usually, as far as rattlesnakes go, it's the last person in line that gets bit, not the first. Yeah, first that? person makes them aware, unless they step on it, of course. Yeah. Second person pisses them off, and then if there's more than that, they usually they're the ones that get the, the warning rattles and all that. Back to the field. Now this is lower because we went up the hill on the other side over there. Yeah. So this is a whole new field to us. Kind of. We went across this field up there. Yeah, we were up and over that side up there. Or wait, no, yeah, we came through. The bare rock is over there. Yeah. Then we came through right there. there. Right. So the way we... This is where we came through to go down to the creek. Yeah. The bald spot? Someone dug it up and buried their gold. The Rogaine did not work right here. Old mining tailing spot that washed out. Okay, so this is the fire road down here, or the logging road. hole or something. The boa constrictor hole. I don't see any footprints, so I can't really say what it is. Put my hand there yeah, add a little honey to it. It'll yeah. get them real happy to get you. <laughs> it's a honey monster coming after us. <laughs> the right know. side's easier. We saw that gopher snake, so snake season's definitely open. Yeah. yeah I know we're going to see at least they, one rattlesnake. Give me one rattlesnake around here. I assume we would see more of them down near um, the water because they'd be hunting frogs yeah, yeah. and any mice and stuff.
tons of little purple flowers, violets or something. Yeah, it's like a little ahead and then to the right. This is where my battery cut out in the East Creek hike video. We had another two hour hike after that. Proper ways over here. Last view at the field before we head back into the woods. Super pretty. Yeah. Into the bushwhacking we go. Watch out for the poison oak. Super girl. Okay. You can go that way if you want. Make up bacteria that only eats poison oak. And then just spread that along and it'll just take all the poison oak out. <laughs> that good cliff down there. But that's the East Creek. Starting Allison's wild ride. Oh no. What's the view? That that's all berry over there. You don't want to slide into <laughs> you want to go up first? Huh? I'm doing a video. You want to go up first? Oh, okay. Sure. Oh, I'm just going to talk to her. See if she's going to do it. And I start turning around when there's a female. Easy, there. Easy, there. Easy, there. Easy, there. Easy, there. Easy, there.
So we just finished our hike, surveying the property to the bottom southeastern line. And we've arrived at the yurt, and we're all hanging out here on the deck. Looking at our fellows and the pictures we took and the, the blooping and blopping. Bloop, bloop, bloop. It was a fun adventure, and I'll see you for the next one.